Hey guys, it's one here. Okay, so you guys asked me to start doing some of these tutorials. I'm sorry I'm hard to understand, but um, I'm not from the US. <laughs> okay, so first of all, uh, we're gonna start doing this edit. We're going the first thing we're gonna do is um, change the temperature and oh yeah. I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, my light room is in Spanish. I'll try to change that if I do a second video. And okay, so next, what we're gonna do is change the other part of the temperature. I don't know how it's called, but it's like the green and uh, magenta. So we're just gonna change that next. We're gonna do exposure. We're gonna bump. We're gonna go down on exposure. We're gonna go down to minus 0.7. And next, we're gonna go down to contrast and bump that to plus 25. Okay, so next, we're gonna adjust highlights, shadows, and all that good stuff. We're gonna bump those highlights up to 1 those shadows up to 15, uh, the whites up to 33, and the blacks to 46. I mean, you can change this if you want. It's pretty much just to get the look that I wanted. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the next part and we're gonna change clarity. We're gonna bump the clarity up to 12. Intensity, if that's how it's called, I'm sorry. Uh, up to 15 and saturation up to 2. Okay, so here comes one of the trickier parts. It's to edit the curves. Curves, it's one of the trickiest but most important parts of the process. First, we're gonna start on RGB. This is what controls most of the highlights and shadows on the picture. You have like a lot of control, so you have to be careful. What I'm doing here is that I'm pulling down the highlights to like an offset. Uh, so the height, like the brightest point, it's not absolute white. Okay, so the next part is to adjust the curves and the different uh, RGB lines, the different colors. And I start from red, then I go to green, and then I go to blue. I start from highlights, then to the shadows. And you have to be especially careful on these ones since they alter the effect. Um, your different tones and your different highlights and shadows and the different colors. Um, you probably want to keep the same line on an all three so it becomes the more neutral it can be but you can go off it and you can try to make it more personal and more colorized if you want to but I probably I kept it like very neutral just a little bit bluer if I can explain myself just keep watching Okay, as you can see, I try to keep it the most similar in the curves, 
Okay, next I went down tones and I started adjusting them and the reds I went down to minus 8, oranges minus 18, yellows 8, um, the greens 2, um, the blue thing, that one I kept it at 0, blue ray went at minus 8 and the rest I kept at 0. Then I went to saturation, red minus 8, uh, orange minus 7, uh, yellow minus 17, green minus 23, blue, the blue one that's like kind of not blue, <laughs> it's plus 8, the blue one is minus 36 because I felt it was like too much blue, but uh, whatever. Okay, so purple, I went to plus 7, and magenta, plus 24, just to keep those skin tones, like, natural, so they didn't feel too flat. Then I went to luminance, luminance on red, minus uh, 12, orange, minus 30, uh, um, yellow, minus 12, green, plus 23, um, the kind of blue I kept it at zero, and z at zero, and the blue it's at plus 56. I just wanted to give it a lot, some light, and then I went to split toning. Split toning is really fun, but I had a little bit of trouble in this picture, as you'll see later. Uh, in the highlights, I went to 39 on the tone and six on the set, and. Minus 45 and the thing that keeps them in balance. On shadows, I went to 41 on tone and 15 on the saturation. I then went to uh, sharpness, sharpness in the picture. I really wanted to keep it very sharp, so, but s since it's just for um, the web, I didn't have to worry about it. I just kept it at plus 79. I know it's too much, but I like it. Whatever. And then I fixed the vignetting on the picture. I felt it was like too much. When you keep it at 100, it just goes way up. It blows out those shadows. So I pulled it back to 58. Next, I went to the uh, calibration. It's just like some fun stuff I like doing this so on the uh, the shadows I went to plus 5 the reds plus 40 on the tone and plus 4 on the set uh, the greens plus 8 and minus 19 and the blue the blue is really important minus 22 and minus 8 the blue gives it like that tone that's like very blue and very orange I really like that that kind of toning so right here you can see the before and after, as I kept working you can see like such difference. <laughs> I always amaze myself like when I go to before and after, the big difference you can make. I just kept like editing those um, blue, those that blue curve, I felt it was way too, too yellow. Okay, so the next step here is to uh, fix those little pimples I had, those, the, the little redness, red dots. Just, please, sorry, excuse my face, I hadn't shaved, I hadn't uh, fixed my face, I hadn't brushed my hair. I, I had just come back from school and I wanted to try this out, so please excuse me. So I'm just I'll, I'm just using that simple tool to remove those red spots. Um, so next I went to the brush tool to dodge a little bit on the, on the eyes. Um, first, yeah, I dodged the eyes and then the face and then I burned, um, I burned the face. If you guys don't know what that means, it means just to like bump exposure and bump down the exposure on certain areas you want to and yeah it just like brings interest to the face and helps you sell the idea of you have expensive lighting even though you don't
Okay, so the next step is really important. Uh, so you have to burn the background. So I just wanted to do that. Burn it, make it darker, um, and add a little bit of a cooler tone, if you know what I mean, to make it a little bit bluer. Um, so yeah. Uh, to get that result, what I did was um, bump down the temperature to minus 23, exposure to minus 2.2, contrast to minus 1, highlights to minus 32, and shadows to minus 1. So, right now, it's not the exposure is not at minus 2.2, it's at, it's at minus 4, but the point of that is to get a clear view of what was selected and what wasn't so I could so mainly so that I, so that I could see what was being affected most of all okay so what I would recommend you guys to do is to first go with a large brush and cover as much as you can and then with a smaller brush go into the smaller parts like in between the chin the neck and the parts that are closer to the body and if you get like if you draw over the subject you can just raise it pressing the alt and brushing over it okay so now using the uh, graduated filter we're gonna try to sail the lights a little bit better we're gonna start by adding shadows to the right side and uh, highlights to the left side so that that way looks a little bit more realistic So pretty much at this point, what I wanted to do is just check on the final touches. I felt um, I needed a little bit more of a blue tone on the shadows, pretty like basically. So I started tweaking the curves. Like I said before, it's like one of the trickiest parts. And I also adjust a little bit of the temperature to make it a little bit cooler. But it, I, I mean, it's just like playing with it see what works and what doesn't um, so yeah that's pretty much it and I forgot to mention this at the beginning but I am no expert on Photoshop or in Lightroom so please do not take my word as the truth but I'm just a normal photographer trying, trying to show what I've done on my work but thank you for watching Thank you.